this is this is basically what you need to know as far as this course is concerned. Just those rules and 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 how they work with the factor graph. Now, what does this have to do with decoding? Now we talk about code density parity check codes. Um, low density parity check codes are a, uh, a kind of linear block code. Factors look like this, x, 
one is two x n, and then all of these x's participate in some kind of uber factor down here. Where these factors are these guys, and this factor is that guy. Now, that's not very satisfying, because at some point we're going to have to take sums over all of these variables. Let's say they're binary, and let's say n is 100. Um, we're going to have to sum over 100 binary variables, and the number of possible uh, excuse me, the number of terms in that sum is 2 to the 100. So that's unsatisfying. It would be nice if we could figure out some structure to this term. That would make the problem a little easier. So, um, what does this term represent? Probability of getting or transmitting a certain sequence. Exactly. This is the <coughs> probability of transmitting a sequence. particular, let's say I have a code, C. So, if x is in C, the probability of transmitting that sequence is 1 over the cardinality of C. So all of the code words are equally probable by assumption. And if x is not in C, then we have 0. So it's impossible to not to transmit something outside of the code. Um, but um, if we're in the code, then we've got 1 over cardinality of C. Okay. Um, so far, I haven't found anything really to exploit. But uh, it would be awfully nice if we could get this to factor into, into certain terms. In fact, let's, take, let's, let's turn this into an indicator function. So I'll take 1 over cardinality of C out, which is just a constant. I don't really care about constants. So in other words, I'm going to have an indicator function for x, which is if x is in the code, it's 1. And if x is not in the code, then it's 0. So that indicator function then becomes this. So uh, the term f of x1 through xn. Each x occurs with 1 over? No. Um, this is the probability of a certain sequence x1 through xn. Mm -hmm. So there are exactly cardinality of c allowed sequences. So c is the code. So uh, I'm only allowed to transmit sequences x1 through xn that are in the code. And each one of them is equally probable. So I can, I can say this boils down to 1 over cardinality of c times my indicator function that I define here. This indicator function is 1 if the sequence is in the code and 0 otherwise. OK, how do we know that something is a code word if it's a linear block code? Uh, the, uh, syndrome. the syndrome, that's right. So the syndrome has to be 0, which means that if I take x and multiply it by h transpose, I get 0. But I don't just get the number 0, I actually get a 0 vector. So that's, this is a key observation. Um, I have, um, now previously I said there were n minus k of these, but it will be convenient to just refer to this as its own constant, so let's call it m. The dimensionality of this vector is m. In other words, this matrix, which has n rows and m columns, 